Hey guys, welcome back to Hey It's a Good Life. Today is day one of Homesteaders of America. Join us as we explore all that it has to offer. We have shirts. <laughs> yeah, shirts. How cool is that? Made these today. <laughs> HOA. Why? 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 Why HOA? We all come here kind of like with a reason in our heart. And like What's drawn you in? What has drawn you here? What has brought you to HOA? What draws you in about this event? So I think just meeting the homestead community. Um, and I've been talking to a lot of folks here. It can feel really isolating to do what we do, at least for us, because we live out in the West and there's not as many uh, homestead folks. So just mm -hmm. to connect and know that you're not alone, get ideas. Somebody gave me an awesome idea for a um, exercise bike that powers a grain mill. What? <laughs> so just like crazy inspiration wow. like that. It just feels really good to be in a community that gets you. Yes. Yeah. Community is really special. It is. Yeah, for cool. sure. Thought we'd say, hey Alexis. Hey Alexis. Hey, Alexis. Hello, Alexis. <laughs> hey Ashley. Hey everybody. What are you looking forward to today? Well, now that I've met you, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm done. <laughs> So, I like that answer. Wow, well, I'm you. very honored. Wow, I'm so glad to see you guys. The original uh, homestead follower, supporter, kind word spreader, Miss Gail Elwood. Hey, everybody. It's a conference for people like us. Can you believe that? People who are into this crazy stuff. We should go check it out. Five and a half Five acres. And a half. We rescued three pigs. We have chickens, bees. Wow, and growing All except and for alpacas. We want one day. Alpaca. One, day. one day. Okay. <laughs> so you're not the only crazy chicken lady. Yes, I know. It's great. The question I'm really asking people today is like, why H O? <laughs> <laughs> and I've also found Jess from Roots and Refuge. Oops. From Roots and Refuge. So H O A, what has brought you to this place? What's drawn you in? Well, the first year that HOA happened, I didn't have a YouTube channel. I just had Instagram, and I remember being like, oh, I would so love to go to something like that. Of course, last year we got to the, attend and this year we're speaking. And so to me, it's really connecting with the community. That's always been the desire of my heart is to connect with this community of people who are passionate about the same things I'm passionate about. And for me, this is a very humbling thing mm -hmm. to come here and meet people to see like my name on the flyer whenever I used to just long to be able to come at all. It's just, it's very special for me. This is a really special event. I've got Morgan here from Goldshaw Farm. Hey guys. What are you enjoying about the conference so far? So I'm enjoying the fact that like I live in this very remote, isolated area. And so to be here, to actually be meeting people and seeing them and saying hi, it's been so much fun. How are you guys enjoying HOA so far? I'm enjoying it. it. Enjoying First it. time, I love it. What are you guys looking forward to the most, you think? Oh uh, gosh, everything. Yeah, you really people, everything. having fun. You learn a lot here and you get to meet a lot of people. I found Kaylee from the Honeystead. What are you most looking forward to? Definitely meeting people, putting a face behind the name, um, kind of connecting that and, and just kind of being around people that are like-minded and doing what we're doing. That is definitely the biggest thing. It's just be compassionate um, and fall in love with what you're doing. And I found the wonderful Joel Salatin and my question that I've been asking everyone is what why HOA? What has drawn you to this place? Because this is this is a gathering of earth stewards who are conservative, tend to be, you know, conservative libertarian, even um, you know, even Christian. And um, and it's just a wonderful gathering. You know, out there it's lonely. And to be able to get in one place with the tribe uh, once a year is is pretty encouraging. Very inspiring. Community is yeah. Meeting the, everybody. Yeah, just seeing everybody and meeting everybody and it's learning. It's all about the animals for them. Yeah. <laughs> Say we saw bunnies. But yeah, Chicks. so that would be a community. Hey guys, so I found Courtney from Life on Beagle Row. Derek from Ooh. an up and coming channel. Squish in here, Derek, you're so tall. <laughs> yeah, I'm tall. <laughs> what are you guys looking forward to about HOA? Yeah. What brought you here? I'm just, I'm just trying to learn some new stuff. 
just trying to learn about uh, permaculture and, and chickens and pigs. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And you're I'm gonna excited. start a channel. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming soon. You bought some property out in the woods. Yeah, three acres and uh, a log cabin. I'm excited for I'm that. Excited. One. And we listened to to Rose from Pulse and Roots talk about goats this morning. She's such a wealth of knowledge. She is. I love it. And uh, hoping to pick up some tips on on passive water supplies. Oh yeah, that's nothing's great. worse than hauling water around. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that, I mean, I'd imagine that would save you time, money, energy, everything. Everything. Yes, everything. Sanity. Everything. I just really enjoyed meeting, meeting people yeah. and uh, <laughs> Kelly really likes Joe Lynn, so we had to listen to her home story. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yes. <laughs> All the good stuff. So I found the lovely Rebecca Rhodes. I'm asking people, why HOA? This is like where, if you want to meet people that are doing the same thing that you're doing, that this is the place to come to. So it is definitely like the movers and the shakers and then there's just like, you know, the vendors and you can kind of get a feel for some different things here. And then the speakers, you know, like good information. Um, I hate that I miss Joel's talk right now because <laughs> I was actually really interested in it. So I'm going to actually have a member area. I'm going to go and um, listen to his talk because nice. I wanted to hear it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just such good information. Really, really good information, too. So, obviously, looking forward to meeting everybody, but as far as workshops go, I did the hog butchering workshop yesterday with Hand Hewn Farm. That was fantastic. And then tomorrow, on Saturday, Kaylee from the Honeystead will be doing the uh, hog raising workshop. And so we're ho hoping to get our new uh, pigs next year. Ooh, and okay. uh, so just learning all I can about raising pigs. Patients outside where it's more one-on-one -on -one with um, other homesteaders or we'll be talking with somebody and somebody will walk up with, oh yeah, I've had that issue here, this is what I've done. Yeah. And that's, that's, I mean, those are, pieces of gold that people are giving to us. Restore the land. I mean, we feel like that's important to us to be good stewards. So now that we're there and we see it needs so much help, we figured come to a place where all the help is in one spot. And that's why we're excited to be here. Everyone has a story and every story counts. We love connecting with people and just swapping stories, sharing community because we help each other. We lift each other up. About encouragement, it's about just being together and lifting each other up. For me, it's really about the fellowship. Like it's, mm -hmm. I just love being here with all of our friends and seeing everybody that we usually get to see like once a year. Yeah. And I mean, the speakers are awesome too, but for, for me, it's really about just hanging out with everybody. Yeah. Then we are kind of new to the homestead community, but at the same time, we notice that the homesteaders are our tribe. <laughs> uh, but we came as vendors and we've been so busy I haven't been able to move, so I didn't get to see any speakers at all today, and I'm just lucky that Natalie stopped by <laughs> our, our thing. Selling lots of shirts. Uh, it's been a blessing. It's been a good first day. So, um, yeah, we have graphic tees that are farm and country related. Um, we have a website, farmlifeoutfitters.com. Um, so I've been pointing lots of people to the website because they can't find their size anymore. Oh so that's, that's a good problem. That is so good. <laughs> and I've also found Wholesome Roots. Whoop, whoop. That's a good question for you. This is your first year. What My you first think? year, I thought it would be fun that uh, we bring the whole family and do a road trip and do some camping. So we get to meet all these great people that I only hear about through the internet and her and now I get to meet them all in person. So that's that's, awesome. uh, that's the fun part. And hanging out, it's like coming to summer camp to see the community and how it's it's growing. You know, it's still growing. It's not at all reached its peak or anything. So I feel like the community aspect of it, I think, is a main thing and why we love coming here and what I, we look forward to seeing and meeting new people and meeting, uh, even though this is the first time meeting you, yeah. but like, I feel like we're all kind of hanging out and yeah. we've been friends forever already. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, like, like it's summer camp and we're going to go meet our friends. And then after summer camp, yeah. we're going to go home and <laughs> talk about yeah. the time we had at summer camp. Okay. came to the first one two years ago and just on a whim heard about it I think I was watching so the lands channel and we thought hey this sounds like a cool event we were just getting into homesteading had been doing it maybe a year at that point 
and thought this would be a great way to find, we couldn't find anybody really locally that was doing it. Find some people that were doing what we were doing. We knew some other YouTubers would be there. It'd be a great way to network a little bit. Um, now, that, especially now more than ever, we have we just got our own property. And so we need things like the log ox stuff to actually move firewood. Like I didn't need to do that before when we were renting. Um, so now I'm actually able to use some of these things here. So it's really great to find all the things we need in one place. Well, I was just talking about this to my little camera. I didn't want to come originally. I was very skeptical of how other people would receive us. And then I realized that there are so many friends that were going to be here. Then I started realizing I would be really sad if I didn't get to see people here. So the people, I'd say, people who I share passions and interests with, connection with land and animals and all of that. So. Would you say heal land animals and yes. people? Yes. <laughs> like, shared interest for healing land animals and people. We've been homesteading for seven or eight years now and it's kind of hard to find that community. It's not a like like-minded people that are doing what you do. And um, especially like we live in a farming area, but it's a lot of conventional farming and we're doing things a lot different, you know, trying to intensive grazing and all that. So it's uh, been really nice to just see like-minded people meet. You know, it's been a lot of people we've known for years online, finally getting to meet in person. That is really neat. Yeah. yeah. It's been really cool. Face-to-face -face time is always the best time. You can really, you know, it's one thing to watch people on the YouTube, but when you actually look them in the face and spend a couple minutes with them, then you really know what's going on. So we love coming out, seeing the people, hearing your stories, especially like because we come year after year and it's good to hear stories like this is where we're starting and then next time I see you I'm like, okay, so what's been going on? And then we help hold accountability for each other. Any of that stuff, building stuff, a lot of DIY people here, just so much to learn from. So just coming here and sucking up all the knowledge you can and then being around all these crazy people who think just like you is always pretty fun too. So that's pretty much what we do. It's about community, building community and touching base with folks. So. There is so many opportunities to meet so many people here and it's on different levels. So there are people here that have never homesteaded before and they're just thinking about it. And then you have other people that have been doing it for 20 years and so the level of engagement of everybody is just really really cool that you get so many different opportunities to talk to so many different people. It's just neat connecting with various people in this area in this community so you're getting the ability to connect with so many homesteaders in this community and it's just so so neat and uh, to hear from all the different varieties of speakers here it's great it's really great. Community is what it's about and really being able to connect with people that you don't get to see yeah. very often <laughs> or uh, and new people and, and having even subscribers come up and say hey and just tell their story and how you've inspired them and, and they inspire you and what they're doing. It's just it's, almost, it's just like a hands-on thing that you can't get anywhere else. It's true. We have um, met so many people that, that comment, but also people that we've seen throughout their, our journey across. So Yes, that are doing YouTube. Um, and so we just have a lot in common. And I don't know, it just has a real homey feel. Mm -hmm. And we just really enjoyed it. One just feels like, I don't know, this sounds so corny, but almost like coming home, like family. I feel like I'm sitting amongst a very large group of pioneers is the best way I can put it. A new movement moving towards better health, better food, better environment, and I think it's outstanding. Well, you heard it from my friends. It kind of all gets down to one word. I almost said community. 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 The people. All these great people. So it was a great way to find some people. Definitely meeting people. There's so many friends that were going to be here. Enjoyed meeting, meeting people. Yeah. I love connecting with people. Meeting other homesteaders. The people. I don't know, this sounds so corny, but almost like coming home, like family. And to be able to get in one place with the tribe uh, once a year is, is pretty encouraging. While we can all have friendships online and support one another and encourage one another and answer each other's questions, there's something extraordinarily special about having this kind of event that feels like a homecoming. And going beyond that, it's amazing to have an event that is so well done with so many wonderful speakers where we can press in and get more knowledge about the things that we're so passionate about. Why HOA for me? Community. Because I have a dream. And that dream is a healing homestead where we heal land, animals, and people. Getting a little older and getting married taught me that life's pretty expensive, so I put that dream to the wayside. That did something to my heart. And in that space of feeling like I was dying, disconnecting from my dream, 
I realized that that was not the way to go and I started doing research into the food system and found Joel Salatin, which led me to Justin, which led me to Jess, which led me to starting this YouTube channel and documenting our, our apartment to farm journey with the aim to encourage as many people as I can along the way to make the most of it where you are, to dream big and to go after it. My hope and prayer is that if there's one of you watching this who has a dream, who has not partnered with that dream yet, I hope that you start to take steps towards that dream because I really do believe it's there for a reason and that when you partner with it, it will take you amazing places. It's been great to be with you guys today. Thanks so much for being here. I'm so glad you're here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's just give it up for my mom. Yeah. <laughs> Trekking all over creation with me. God bless her soul. It's been amazing. <laughs>